My name is Jim Henderson, I'm Associate Superintendent for Charlottesville City Schools, and I plan to read today a book, one of my favorites, Take Your Pet to School Day. Dear students, at Maple View we have a rule. You cannot bring your pets to school, but for just one special day, we've decided it's okay to bring your bunny, bird, or dog your lizard, turtle, fish, or frog. So this Friday, don't forget, we'll see you and your favorite pet, Maple View School. It's Friday here at Maple View, the students file in two by two. With books and bags and pets in tow, above, ahead, beside, and below. They start the day off with song, the pets attempt to sing along. They howl with gusto, bleat with glee, they shriek, they squeak. They are way off key. Enough, says Mr. Paul, it's clear. These animals should not be here. Now, why would someone change this rule? Pets do not belong in school. It's story time. The pets pile in. Miss Libby, the librarian, begins to read, but can't be heard above the din of beast and bird. They interrupt with barks and quacks. They hide in nooks. They climb the stacks. Miss Libby sighs. It's very clear. These animals should not be here. Now why would someone change this rule? Pets do not belong in school. She shoes them out and off they go to Mr. George's studio. He tells the class, we'll paint today. The art show is only a week away. The pets aren't neat, they do not share. Paint is spattered everywhere. Says Mr. George, it's not very clear. These animals should not be here. Now why would someone change this rule? Pets, pets do not belong in school. Time for snack, the pets won't sit. They slurp and burp and drool and spit. Rudely chomping, loudly chewing, smacking, grunting, gobbling, spewing. The principal is in a huff. Miss Ellen hollers, that's enough. This is not the way we eat. Please settle down and take a seat. She looks around. It's very clear. These animals should not be here. Now why would someone change this rule? Who said these pets? should come to school. The teacher shrug, don't know. They don't belong here, we agree. Not me. Then Lucy whispers in her ear, you said we could, just look right here. Dear students, at Maple View, we have a rule. You cannot bring your pets to school. But for just one special day, we've decided it's okay to bring your buddy, bunny, bird, or dog, your lizard, turtle, fish, or frog. So this Friday, don't forget, we'll see you and your favorite pet. Miss Ellen says, for goodness sake, this isn't mine. There's some mistake. Who wrote this note? Speak up right now. All is quiet then. We do not like your no pets rule. We miss our kids when they're at school. We thought that it would be okay to come to school. It's just one day. Signed, the pets. They wait in silence, still, polite. She hymns, she haws, she says. All right, but only if you clean this mess and behave your very best. The pets agree, they scrub with care, they go to class, take turns and share, they follow rules and listen well, they help with math and show and tell. The school bell rings, it's time to go, the kids depart with pets in tow. Miss Ellen breathes a weary sigh. Good work, she says, good job, goodbye. 
Dear students, at Maple View, we've had a rule. You cannot bring your pets to school, but your friends have been so good, we've decided that you should. So pack your hedgehogs, hounds and mice, your cats and goats and snakes, if nice. We love your pets, so it's okay to bring them each and every day. The end.